Peace and blessings, YouTube. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy, Ancient African Wisdom for the Modern Sister. So yes, let me give you a few minutes to come on. I hope you can. It is Thursday. It's about 12, not quite 12.30, about 12.25 on the East Coast in the U.S. So wherever you're watching, welcome, welcome, welcome. I had... I got a surprise for you, first of all, but I had a beautiful morning, a lot of self-care, just got out the bathtub, so, you know, doing my thing, it was good, did my exercise for the day, it was really wonderful, and I want to share something with you, so I'm going to be doing something this month in honor of Women's History Month, and I'm going to say in honor of Black Women's History Month, because this is a channel dedicated to the health, wellness, and joy, and most of all, happiness of black women. And so we want to celebrate that. So let me tell you what I'm going to do every day. Now, you heard me every day for the month of March. That's 31 days. I'm going to come on and do a live stream. Now, y'all, it's a challenge, so y'all got to help me with it. Y'all got to make sure that I do it. Y'all got to send out the vibes that say, yeah, she's going to come on every day for 31 days. I would get your pen, your paper, take notes if you want to, but it's a 31-day series. I'm going to get on live every day for the month of March in honor of Black Women's History <laughs> Month or Women's History Month, and I want to celebrate, and I want to celebrate. I'll be talking about everything from, you know, briefly finances, relationships, you know, love for self, exercise, everything, but it's just 31 days. It's brief, and um, I'm going to come on. So in honor of the first day, I wanted to talk to you all about so, oh, well, well, first of all, this campaign, this 31 days on my YouTube, this right here where you watch it right now live, this 31 days, it has to have a name. We got to call this campaign a name. So it is called How to Love Your Black ASS uh, Series, How to Love Your Black Ass. And I'm going to say it like that. And I mean that with all due respect. I mean that if you can't love yourself, if you're not loving yourself, if you don't know how to love all that you came in with, I ain't talking about when I say ASS. I'm not talking about your derriere. <laughs> I'm not talking about your gadong gadong. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you as a whole. Love you. Because if you can love, in, in a sense, that word is a metaphor. If you can love that part of you, it means you loving all of this. So it's all, it's in dedication. It's the Loving Your Black ASS series <laughs> for 31 days. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you to inspire. So share the videos. Let's get it out. Enjoy it. I told you I'm coming with newer stuff. Another thing I want to announce because it is International Women's Month, they used to call it that, and now they call it Women's History Month. I want to tell you that I did extend, I'm going to extend the special just for three days, March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, because I know some people get paid. A lot of y'all been buying the stuff for $20, you know, one-year programs, because after the 3rd, it is gone. I'm not going, you're not, we're not going to revisit it. You're not going to be able to buy it again. And I know two sisters emailed me and said, if you can just give us to the end of today, because a lot of people get paid on the first. I said, you know what? I'll do better. I'll give you to the third. Okay? Because, you know, and so, and also we're going to do this series here, right here, nowhere else. It's going to be right here. I, I to chose YouTube to do it. So let's talk about this idea of loving yourself, right? And today I want to talk about loving yourself in a relationship. Loving yourself when you don't have a relationship. Loving yourself if you do have a relationship. Loving yourself if you want a relationship. Because a lot of us, a lot of us are in relationships that we've been in so long that either we forgot who ourselves is, we're still trying to figure out because we've changed so much. Some of us are contemplating divorce or wanting to be free or travel or go places because we think that, you know, we, we, we think we're having this midlife crisis and that this partner that we're with can't go with us. But see, I say, no, that's not true. Not all the time. Sometimes it is. A lot of times is that nobody told you that you would keep growing and that in growing, whether you're with somebody or not, and that in growing your choices that you made when you didn't know, when you were at that place was a good place, but now you're somewhere else. 
I want you to understand, black woman, that it's normal that you don't want what you used to want and don't want to do what you used to do and don't want to go to places you used to go or even hang out with the people you used to hang out with. But your, your loved one, your spouse can possibly go with you because guess what? As they grow and learn, they're changing too, but nobody gave them permission. What I understand as a woman in a relationship is that a lot of times what we want is not seeking something we want is outside of the relationship. A lot of times it's within you. And if you take that time to figure out what that is, that spouse, that lover, that husband will follow. So that's what I know. A lot of us are not loving ourselves because we have no relationship, because we've been, either we, we've gone a certain place to, in our lives where we're, whether we're 35, between 35 and 50, never been married, don't have children, and wondering why. Maybe have great careers, maybe not. But either way, you're trying to figure it out. And I know that, it, again, it's in you. There's some sacrificing that you have to do, not sacrificing yourself, but sacrificing the self that you think you are, giving up something that is bad for something that is good. That's a great sacrifice. The sacrifice I'm talking about is not giving up something you love, not giving up something that's good for you. How to give up things that are not good for you in order to get what you want. That's the greatest sacrifice ever. It's like, you mean it's a win-win situation? Because it's got to be African. It's got to be a win-win situation. So it's very important how to learn how to do that. The other thing is, you know, you start to doubt yourself or something's wrong or maybe you're not pretty enough or you're not this enough. None of that is true. You, somebody told you that you grew and your, your goals are different and how to really create new goals for the new you. So I want to say that I know that and I know for me, you know, being in a relationship that I'm in, which I'm very blessed to have, a black man, which somebody said would never be, can't never happen, that loves and supports you and gets behind what you want to do. I also know that there's things that he's not probably going to take the lead on, and that's okay because he's not going to, he also doesn't have a problem following. So in other words, if I suggest, hey, let's move to North Carolina and buy some land, and once he gets his mind wrapped around it, he goes, yes, let's do it. So how does that happen? You know, that's a deep situation. But the, it starts in us. I don't think we as women understand the power we have, period, let alone the power we have in a relationship. We're so expecting because we've been told this old way. So I'm giving you one of the notions. I'm going to share one with you today. I believe one of the old notions is that the man should be the leader of the house. And I'll tell you why. Because I think a lot of women are holding on to that, so you're waiting for him to lead. When in actuality, you've always led. You just, if it was just subtle. Your mother, your grandmother, your great-grandmother, of course I'm generalizing, has always led. The man always said, hey, I, do, I work, here's the paycheck, I'll give it all to you. You decide what to do with the money. You decide what's best for the household. A lot of times, he, you made him think it was his idea, but it was always yours. You know, on a spiritual level, the woman is the intuitive one. She has the idea. She has the dream. She has the, the premonition. And the man says, really, is that what you saw? Is that what you think? Is that what you believe? Is that what you know? Is that what you felt? Okay, good. Let me, give, let me pack the bags. Let me drive the car. Let's go there. Let's get there. We forgot how to work because on a spiritual level, we forgot who we are as a woman and a man. And so if you want to go deeper into the subject, I am doing, I'm, I'm so very excited about this Sunday special. It is this Sunday, March 4th, from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is a live stream, but it will be on a re for those that purchase it, you, you, will, you will be able to see it. If you can't be there live, you still get it. It's a PDF laid out with all kinds of to-dos and not-to-dos and things that you will learn, but the two hours will be amazing, and it's called The Quest for Black Love. It is the Sunday special. It's how to have a loving relationships again. But, but the thing is, because in honor of Black Women's Month, it really is about it's in you. And some of the things somebody never told you because they didn't know, things that they never understood, they forgot. You're a spiritual woman. And that means a little bit something different, but it also means you have the power in you to have whatever circumstances you want. And we're going to go through what happened before with the last one, why didn't it, what do you, it's not what do you need to do to make sure that you get the man you want, it's who do you need to be. And who you need to be, you already, you want to be that. You ripe to be that. You, you waited to be that. You work to be that, and you don't even know you shifted. So if you want to know about shifting and how you can shift so that you can have that also, 
my honey will be on. It's two hours, so the second hour we'll have him, and you can ask him any questions you want because I want you to win. And if that's the way you want to win, if nothing else, you'll know how to love yourself in a way that you won't just attract a beautiful relationship. You'll attract money, abundance, joy, love, and most of all, happiness. So in honor of Black Women's History Month, in honor of Women's History Month, I want to jar you. I want to open you up. I want you to know that you don't know, but you can know. And it's, it's $37 away, it's two hours, it's a PDF included, and it's amazing. If anybody took my Sunday special, let these ladies know. I will be back with you for 30 more days, talking about 30 more things that's going to help you love your black ASS. It is a series, and it starts today. In honor of Black Women's History Month, we're going to talk about the history today. We're talking about the history of our love and the love for us and our desire to have a partner and that even if you don't think you want one, if you, don't, if you can't attract a partner, what else are you not really attracting? Because you're not really being yourself. Because you don't know who you really are. And I don't mean that as just an African or a black woman. I'm talking about the changes that have occurred. We've been so hoodwinked to think that we grow up, we pick a, a, a career, we pick a place to live, we pick a, uh, 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 a way of being and we should stay there. Not understanding that no universal God or goddess could ever make us not to, to make us to be stagnant. And we're not understanding how this growing self is affecting our relationships and how it can affect them in the most positive way. So if you wanna know more, it's only $37 for two uh, hours. It is going to be live on March 4th, which is Sunday from two to four, but you don't if you don't, if you don't get to buy it, so you can lock in that thirty-seven dollar price, and it will, you'll still be added to the group. You can watch it at your leisure, and you'll be able to download everything and keep the video and the PDF forever. Think about what I said. Let it sink in for a while, because we know we got to start slow. So let it just sink in. If you're interested in more of that, let me know. But I want to say thank you for everybody that's on. Let me say hi to my peoples. Okay, Tony, yay. So uh, me, Alma says, good afternoon from New NYC. You look great. We deserve this. Thank you. I'm so glad. Yes, you do. Tony says, yay, go queen teacher, womanhood. Yes, thank you. Me, Alma says, I know that's right. Yes. Tony says, yes. Hashtag black asses rock. Thank you. <laughs> Spread that around. Black hashtag black asses rock and love your black ass. Make sure you let people know about this because it's a 31-day th series and we had first one today love the name yes that's right the life as art show i love that hey tamu on year wood blessings queen tamu i want to thank you for being so busy on that website tamu got her 20 dollars yearly uh uh programs and y'all need to get yours because i done extended it for three more days so it ends on midnight 11 59 on march 3rd into intelligent classes. Could you do a video about the African music you listen to and where you get it from? Yes, I will. Uh, Mayama says, blessings and love. Yes, and yeah, when everyone here, that's right. Give each other, because you know, you're gonna become a tribe, you're gonna become a group. Oh, don't forget tonight before midnight, by 11.59 is the last day to buy. For this particular shirt campaign, I am a Blackberry Beauty. I would love to see you buy it and love to see you wearing it, and so it's gonna be good. Yes, love, bless God, bless it. Uh, lovely else says, bless God. It's love, love, love to you too. Tamu says peace and love. Yes, giving the, the greetings to uh, Mia Alma. And Tamu says, wow, that is eye opening. Ashe, love says Tony, give me all the hearts. And Reg Reginald Green uh, just saying hi, Kim. Watch what. Oh, well, thank you, Reginald, for always coming in. I'm always reading your comments and I truly appreciate it. Sh sending love from New Zealand. Hey, Queen Jenna, how are you? I'm so glad. We are going to figure this out. You know, y'all, I learned today, there's something I learned. I learned today that there is a, a, a place in Tanzania that has this beautiful body of water, and the water is green from the natural spirulina that's in the water. And when I started taking a spirulina bath, I never heard of anybody taking a spirulina bath. Spirit told me that a spirulina bath would be so helpful. Had I, I had I, I not known that I was emulating a body of water in Tanzania and maybe other parts of the world, but in the continent, I get chills from saying it. There's so much divine intelligence that you already have. 
And I want to show you in the Sunday intensive about that. We women are the goddess. If there's anything we are not having, you have to question that as a black woman from the, from the beginning of civilization, the, the one that birthed the first man and woman. And you can't get a man. When men come from you, it's not the other way around. And so when I hear that, oh, you can't get love, or you've been jilted, you've been hurt so deeply, you can't feel or think, but you know there's more, but you've accepted that, you, that there's less, it don't have to be. When I think about the way we, I see us struggling and some are single, partnerships, there's so many beautiful things about it when it's good. And it's only going to be good when you're good, when you understand and love your black ass, that's when it's going to be good. And I'm teaching that this Sunday, March 4th, from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, $37 for a two-hour lecture and a fat, beautiful PDF with all kinds of information that you can keep for life. I hope you can be there. I'll see you all tomorrow for day two of 31 days. <laughs> and I don't know what we're going to talk about. I got to talk to spirit, okay? Because we're going to talk about talking to spirit, listening to spirit, you know, accessing spirit. We're going to talk about all that in 31 days. Oh, lovely L says, the reading with you was amazing and it was so much making sense. I'd like to do another one. Sister, this is goddess, it's power. Oh, thank you, lovely L. I loved it as well. Love you so. And so I'm learning to love my, yeah, hashtag black is learning to love it. Well, honey, after the 31 days and possibly maybe you'll be able to take some courses because I'm going to be talking about my other course too, Lessening the Load. So every day I will do a lecture with you like I did today or some type of tip and then we'll talk about where you can get further information. Y'all, are y'all going to hold me to this? Because I want to do this for 31 days. I've never done this. I want to make this an annual thing that every March I will do this. And you know it's going to be tight. I'm going to be in different locations, either in the house <laughs> or outside. I'm excited, like, to give y'all this for 31 days. Today is day one. Ladies, again, last thing, because I got to do my taxes right now. Um, the last thing I want to remind you all is you have three more days. You have today, tomorrow, next day. People are buying. If you're not one of the person that bought the a Black uh, Spiritual Awakening of the Black Woman one-year program for $20, if you're not the one that bought the intensives one year for $20, if you're not, it's so much other stuff for $20, $5, go get it. Because I will never, we will never see it again. It will be gone, and you will be like, you know what? I knew her when, <laughs> because I'm going to create some new stuff, but we're going to do this right now. How about that? I love y'all. When I learned to love my black ass, when I truly loved to learn my black ass, it was really, when I really, I believe for me, got in my 40s. I was learning before, but I wasn't understanding. And sometimes it takes that understanding, but we're going to get you there sooner. And I feel like I got married and, and, and at 49 years old because I loved myself enough to say that if it wasn't the one, it wasn't the one, I was willing to let go. And a lot of us ain't willing to let go of the dream, the idea, the thought of what it's supposed to be. Can I just at least, in my workshop, I would at least like to point you out to what you might be holding on to. That's all I want to do and see how it's not really serving you. I'm not gonna make you wrong. I'm not gonna make you responsible for not having what you want or you gotta make yourself over for the, ma I'm, I'm not into that. <laughs> Y'all know that. I'm gonna tell you what I never got told. I got told other things, that men are guilty until proven innocent. You think that didn't affect me? I got told a lot. And I know they were loving me, the, the women in my life that told me. But when I finally talked to the universe, when I finally talked to the creator, when I finally talked to the divine, that's when I understood why I wasn't getting what I wanted. And that's when I learned how to do it. And I'd like to share that with you for $37. I love you ladies all with all my heart. I'm really, yep, mm -hmm, one o'clock. I said, I'm gonna sit down at this desk and work on these taxes because I got to get that done. That's, so We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about responsibility to ourselves. Stop sabotaging our good. All right, ladies, will y'all share this and then tell your crew and anybody else that we're doing this for 30 more days. Let them know that this is the hashtag Love Your Black Ass series for 31 days in honor of Women's History Month. We're going with Black Women History Month. So we will be talking about some of the queens that have come before us, but I'm honoring you, black woman. Will you be here? I hope so. Don't ask me time because I don't know, but let me tell you what I would like. 
I would like to do it between 12 and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But don't hold me to that time. But I will be on live every day, I promise you. Okay, ladies, consider going to the website for whatever your needs are. It's, black, it's www.blackberrybeautyacademy.com, blackberrybeautyacademy.com, and also I will leave it all in the description box, direct links. Enjoy. Oh, last thing. I will be speaking in Durham, North Carolina, live. <laughs> you want to meet me in person? You want to hug, kiss me? Live, y'all. I want to meet y'all too. March 17th, go to the website. Again, I'll leave the link in the description box. If by any chance you have a chance, you're in the North Carolina or area, whether that's DM, DM, DMV, DMV, DC, Maryland, Virginia, Tennessee, whatever, wherever, because you might be in Detroit. I got some people coming from Alabama, Detroit. It's only 25 seats. They're literally seats that's being sold because it's a small venue. We're going to try that out first and uh, go to the website so you could be one of the 25 women. Honestly, I only have 24 left. Somebody bought one yesterday. I have 24 seats left. Come on in. Love you, ladies. Enjoy yourself and your day. Celebrate your lovely blackness, and I'll see you tomorrow. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy, Ancient African Wisdom for the Modern Sister. Peace and blessings, queens.